Hi guys, I want to make a video about travel fails, some of the worst moments of our travels in 2017. These are all things that were happening behind the scenes that I may have mentioned on Instagram or Insta stories, but I've never sat down and just made a whole video telling you some of the biggest fails. I mean, there were lots of little moments of things going wrong, obviously, but these were some of the things that looking back were kind of awful when they happened and now just make me laugh. I mean, some of them, they were so ridiculous, even just made me laugh at the time. So without further ado, I want to start by telling you the time that our apartment flooded in Berlin. We had been up late the night before to learn four in the morning, working on the next day's video, which isn't that uncommon. Went to bed and I woke up the next morning at, I think, 8.58. I remember that in my mind. And I got up to go towards the bathroom and the apartment was very small. There was like the bedroom and then the middle room, which was kitchen slash living room, everything, and a bathroom. And so I'm not a morning person by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm walking along and I feel that my feet are wet. And then I realized that it's raining. And I had this very brief moment of thinking like, am I dreaming? Am I still asleep? <laughs> like, what's going on? Then I realize I am very much awake and it is very much raining inside our apartment. Now I've been in floods before, but I've never experienced you know, what feels like rain pouring down from the ceiling. It was coming through all of the light sockets, it was running down the walls, pooling on the floor. Everything that was on the floor or touching the walls was completely soaked. I looked into the bathroom and it was the same thing happening there. Everything was just wet and the worst part that it was it just kept coming, gushing from the ceiling. And then I heard someone out in the hallway who was like pounding on the door, ringing the doorbell, and I couldn't open the door. I'm pulling on it, I cannot open the door. We realized that what's happened is that because the water has been pouring on this wood door frame, it, the wood has warped. So this door actually will not physically come open anymore. <laughs> He starts to bust down the door. I feel him punching it, kicking it, like rattling it like this. And he kicks the door and part of the door frame flies off in my face. And I was like, hold up, let me just back out of the way before you bust the door down anymore. The door is flying into my face. So I backed up and he literally kicked the door in. Okay. Oh, I'm just glad that we could get out of the apartment because with water coming from above and pooling below, it was making me feel a little bit trapped that the only way in and out of the apartment was completely stuck um, and that he didn't break down more of the door in my face and that only part of the door frame flew out of my face face and didn't cause any damage. Imagine it got in my eye or something. Awful. Um, and that actually, funnily enough, was not the only apartment that we stayed in this year that flooded. We actually had a flooded apartment in Cartagena back in Colombia. And <laughs> that was also a situation where I was in bed. I don't know why this happened. Maybe it's like karma for not being a morning person or something. The universe is trying to tell me something. But anyway, I was lying in bed and I wake up and there is water dripping onto my forehead. And I looked up and realized that it was, again, raining inside. Although I can't use the term raining. It was like dripping from the ceiling. I was like, oh my God, I wonder what's happened. There had been like a big rainstorm the night before that we noticed that there was a lot of water outside the apartment. And it was happening on Mark's side of the bed too. My pillow was all wet. When I swung my legs over the side of the bed to stand up, it was pooled on the floor beside the bed. And unfortunately, there was no bedside table in that room. And so I had all of my things on the floor beside the bed. Thank God I didn't have my phone on the floor because I was charging it in another room. But I did have my, um, I don't know, my Kobo e-reader and some other things on the floor and they were ruined. Um, well, at least the case was. I managed to save the e-reader. I don't know how, but... Thankfully, it was okay by some miracle. Another thing that happened in Cartagena was, I don't know if you guys remember the video called, um, I think it was called Sailing to a Secret Beach, where we got to go out on a sailboat and it was amazing. And as you can imagine, we really wanted to fly the drone because it was gorgeous. We had perfect, perfect weather that day. We were like, oh my God, we've got to get the drone up in the air and just capture all of this from above. It's gonna look amazing. <laughs> but, okay. 
learned some things that day. Um, we tried to fly the drone up off of the deck of the sailboat, and there was no flat space on the boat because the boat sort of goes down like this. And so the, the surface that we were trying to launch it from was just a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't perfectly straight, but I didn't think it would be that big a deal. So anyway, so I place it down and um, I was sort of watching, Mark was flying it, and uh, he went to go up, and <laughs> instead of going up, it went to the side. And I went into like Jason Bourne mode and just lunged forward after the drone <laughs> because I could see it going towards the ocean, salt water, no bueno. <laughs> so I lunged forward, grabbed it while the propellers were still going. And thank God from like the mercy of the universe, there was like a little lip that went all around the deck of the sailboat. So by the grace of that little lip and me lunging forward in time to get it, we managed to save the drone from flying into <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> So, you know, you never want to see your drone go sideways, not unless you're trying to get it to go sideways. So, um, yeah, we won't be doing that again. We did fly it from other places, so you can enjoy that drone footage like we did, but I'm never going to launch it off of anything but a flat surface, and I think I will be very hesitant to launch it off of a boat. There was actually another thing that happened in Cartagena. As I'm realizing it, there's actually one, two, three, three things that went wrong in beautiful Cartagena of all places. We went to a restaurant. We were having like a date night. Um, the video I think was called a date night in Cartagena when Mark and I just wanted to kind of treat ourselves and go to a, a nice restaurant, enjoy the city. And um, it ended in a quite memorable way, but for the wrong reasons. Because we were sitting at a table, it was a table for two, on the wall and there was a little um, ledge where there was a window that looked out onto the street which was very nice and the window ledge had a place where you could put things so I think I put my purse there Mark put his phone his iPhone on the ledge and you know we're eating dinner and vlogging it having a really fun time and um, at the end of the night when we went to leave Mark said oh I can't find my phone do you have it because often I'll you know put it in my purse or carry it for him or something and I was like, no, I don't, I don't have it. Um, you check your pockets or, you know, it was on that ledge. I don't know what happened to it. And so we're looking all around, no idea what happened to it. And Mark realizes that his chair is feeling a little bit uneven. So he kind of like rocks back and forth, you know, and your table leg needs like a little matchbook underneath it or something. Same kind of idea. So he looks down. Somehow his phone is underneath the leg of his chair, screen up and the screen is completely smashed. So somehow during our wonderful romantic date night in Cartagena, Mark has been sitting on the screen of his iPhone. <laughs> and we have no idea, this is ridiculous. Like to this day, neither of us have any idea what happened. There's something even more tragic than knowing that your body weight was the cause of smashing the screen of your iPhone. Um, so anyway, I mean, people smash phones all the time. That was three things that happened in Cartagena, and then there was actually a fourth thing that happened in Colombia. This was in a taxi on the way from Medellin to Huatapé. If you've seen the Huatapé videos, you know it was that gorgeous place with the monoliths surrounded by lakes and the rock you can climb up, and then the town has all of those murals that we animated in that video to kind of make them come to life. So Huatapé was amazing, but on the drive from Medellin, our taxi was actually struck from behind by a motorbike that then swerved and crashed directly into a bus and it was really traumatic to see and I think it stuck with me because Mark and I drove a scooter for many years and we we're actually in an accident so I can relate to it and it was so scary to first of all be hit from behind because we didn't know what happened and then to see like a millisecond later this guy at full speed just crashed directly into a bus he was going so fast um, and the, the bus was parked that he went full into it um, he made an indent and his head just popped right off of the bus and the way his head snapped I will never forget. It was very scary um, and thankfully you know we were okay, he was okay, the people in the bus were okay, um, but it was a scary moment and then when we got to Watape and we pulled up outside our hostel we got out and saw this scrape where he had hit the back of our car before kind of bouncing off and crashing into the bus. So that was a story that was really scary at the time and looking back I'm just so glad that everyone involved was okay. On a much later tastier note, how about a story about hot dogs? <laughs> 
If you saw our vlog about going from Toronto to Paris, then you know that we were on a WOW Air flight that stopped in Iceland. And as you may have heard me mention before, Mark and I actually met in Iceland. Our families are Icelandic, and so it's a really special place for us. And Icelandic hot dogs, I know I'm biased, but they are the best in the world. And so we wanted to take the little stopover as an opportunity to get hot dogs and coca milk, which is Icelandic chocolate milk, and then skier, which is like yogurt. Oh, and a candy bar because they make delicious chocolate and licorice. So the place that we were going to go was closed because it was the middle of the night and we heard at the other end of the airport at a different um, part of the terminal, there was a place where you could get them. So we ran, we got the hot dogs, we vlogged it all, and then it put us way behind and we actually almost missed our flight to Paris. So I guess now I can truthfully tell people I am the type of person who will almost miss a flight because of devotion to hot dogs. So <laughs> we, it all worked out in the end. We got the hot dogs. We got to Paris. But we really, I think we were the last people on the flight and, you know, it was flashing final boarding. And, you know, it was one of those you get on the plane and they seal and then they leave immediately. So we were just lucky in that case. The last fail of 2017 that I want to talk about is a story that is still ongoing, and that is that in Bratislava, Slovakia, our drone crashed. And there's a lot of detail to this story. I could probably make a whole video telling you this story. So if you would like me to do that, please leave a comment down below. But in short, it basically involves the drone crashing on the top of a building, a naked boy, and me climbing to the roof in the snow. So if you want some more detail about that, then let me know. But uh, we have no drone right now and hopefully will soon so please cross your fingers and toes if you love the drone as much as I do I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you enjoy story time like this if you want to hear more about fails like this as they're happening instead of in a roundup like this at the end of the year because God knows I think it's funny maybe not at the time but I would love to hear what your favorite fail or worst moment was that I told you about so leave me a comment down below and if you haven't then make sure you subscribe hit that red button there's also a bell beside it if you hit that bell it will give you notifications when we upload new videos don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye